Stable Diffusion is one of the most powerful text-to-image AI models, and recently, AWS SageMaker released a quick way for you to deploy it on your AWS account, which is exactly what we're going to do today. Hello everyone, this is Marco speaking. A few months ago, I showed to you how to set up an account on Stability AI website and connect your Nest.js code to the model using their API. But sometimes you want to have a full control over where the model is being deployed, like deploying it on your own AWS account. Luckily, with AWS SageMaker and Foundation models, you can pretty easily do that. And I'm going to show to you on the next few minutes how you can accomplish such thing. But before we proceed, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about AWS ecosystem and these AI integrations. And never forget that the more you learn, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's do this. Okay, great. So here we are on AWS console. So the first thing that we need to do is search for SageMaker, AWS SageMaker. This is this one. My case is already here, so just click it here as well. Perfect. So here on SageMaker page, you can see that on the left side, we have this panel and we can see this new jump start section and with the foundation models. So if you click here, you will see some foundation models that we can easily deploy on AWS SageMaker. You can deploy Llama 2 with some of some of its variations like the 7 billion parameters, the 7 billion parameters, and so on. We also have the Falcon 40B, which is another text generation model like ChatGPT. But in our case, we're going to focus on stable diffusion. So we have some versions here. In our case, we're going to deploy the 2.1 base model from Stable Diffusion. So you can click here to see more information about the model. But in order to deploy the model, the first thing that we need to do is to create a SageMaker domain. So we click here on the left side on the domain section. This is the first thing that we need to do. So here we click to create a new domain for managing our SageMaker environment. Okay, great. So here on SageMaker domain page, you can put the domain name that you want for creating your domain. I'm going to call it MPCSJ SageMaker Experiment 1. You can click to use the quick setup if you want to experiment with SageMaker. If you want to do something more deep, you can go to the standard setup and configure more options. In our case, the quick setup is, is fine for us. And then we click to submit. Okay, great. In a few minutes, we're going to have our SageMaker domain for deploying Stable Diffusion on our account. Okay, great. After a few minutes, our SageMaker domain is ready. If you want to see more information about it, just click here. But for, for relaunching our model, just click here and click on the first option with Jupyter Studio. Once you click on the Jupyter Studio option, you're going to see something like this. And Amazon SageMaker Studio is loading with Jupyter Server for us to deploy the AI models. Okay, great. Once Amazon SageMaker Studio with Jupyter Lab is ready, we're going to see a page like this. And for deploying our model, we should search for SageMaker Jumpstart. Click here, then you click on Models, Notebooks, and Solutions. And here we can see the same models that we saw previously. Actually, we can see a few more. And in our case, we're going to look for a stable diffusion. So in my case, I'm going to deploy the 2.1 version. So we click here. And then you click to deploy. If you want to change the deploy the model name or the machine which is going to host the model, can change the machine here. But make it my case, I'm going to use the default configuration and then we just click to deploy. 
Okay, great. After a few minutes, our model is deployed on AWS SageMaker. The easiest way to test the model is by going here, use endpoint from studio, and then you click here. So first we need to set up notebook environment and we click here. So AWS is configuring a machine for us to run the code. So here we have a basic code uh, provided by AWS for us to test the model. If you want to try this on your own machine, you can copy the code and paste on your own environment to test the model. If you have AWS configure on your machine and a set of credentials, you can run this code outside of SageMaker too. So let's wait a little bit for the, for the machine and the kernel to be ready for us to make the experiment. Okay, great. Here with the sample code provided by AWS SageMaker and the kernel is already ready for us. So let's try the code. So I'm gonna run this. And then I'm gonna run this to define a set of functions. And here you can see that we also have the endpoint name from SageMaker. And then we're gonna run a simple query to the model. So the query, the function to query, to call the query endpoint, we're gonna pass this message to SageMaker to create an image from a cottage in impressionist style. And then we display the image with this function. Just basically the displaying the image using matplotlib, which we imported here. Okay, great. Here you can see this the image generated from our query. SageMaker also provided to us some more advanced examples. And here we can see all the parameters that we can pass to the model. The prompt, the width, height, number of inference steps, the guidance scale, negative prompt, number of images per prompt, the seed. So if you want to do something more advanced and even compress the image, AWS SageMaker already provided to us a simple code to do this. So if we proceed here, for example, so in this case, the prompt is going to be astronaut on a horse. So we click here. And it's already running the, the code for us. As you can see here, these are the images generated by Stable Diffusion for us. And another case that AWS SageMaker already provided to us is that some cases you can hit the image size limit the image is too large if you try to generate image with a high resolution you can you can hit a maximum size so you have to compress the image and SageMaker already provided to us a code to handle compressed images which is this one and that's it now you know how to deploy AWS SageMaker on AWS as a bonus section I copied the code from SageMaker Studio into a simple REST API made using Python Flask so this is our main file that bootstraps the application and I create the simple module here. So this is our controller that receives the request. So here we have a function that receives the same object as we specified on SageMaker. So we have the same attributes as this one, as this one. So we can pass the same attributes to our Python code and then the object we will arrive here, we will parse the JSON object into a Python class into this model defined here. And here I, I created some default values for some required parameters. And once the object reaches here and then we parse the object, we're gonna send this object to the service layer, this one here. And then the object we will, we will arrive here into this function on the service layer and then we will do the same thing as we did on Jupyter notebook file and then we will, we will receive the object sent to SageMaker client and SageMaker client will respond an object to us and then we will save this file locally into the machine and we will generate we will return the path to the image to the controller layer back here into this attribute along the meme type for returning into the HTTP request here. So here we receive from the service layer the path to the image and the meme type 
and then we use the send file method from Flask to return the image saved locally into the machine along the meme time that, that it was returned from the service layer. So let's test this. So here on Postman, I created a simple prompt, which is a fish playing piano. So I'm gonna call this code running locally. Oh, sorry, let me change this to post and then try again. Okay, great. So this is the image generated by Stable Diffusion deployed on AWS SageMaker. And that's it. Now you know how to deploy Stable Diffusion on AWS SageMaker. I hope you liked it, and I see you in the next time.